Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see one new topic in software testing tutorials that is about verification and validation. So first, we will begin with uh, the definitions of uh, both these verification and the validation. And then we will see the difference between the verification and validation activities. So everyone feel that both the activities are similar, but in reality, there are a lot of differences between the two activities and we'll see with the help of this video so first begin with the definitions so verification is the process of ensuring the software being developed will satisfy the functional specifications and conforms to the standard and here the process always helps to verify are we building the product right so here the standards what we mentioned is the standards that are related to the either functional standards or technical or both functional and technical standards suppose if you are building any of a web application so this functionality should be same in when the user opens it in mobile browser or opens with the system so these specifications or the standards should be maintained to maintain the product stable and here we will get one question like so are we building the product right so it is meeting the standards and the conforming to the specifications of the requirements so this verification is a static process that happens at every phase of the life cycle so this verification is ensured with the help of different kind of activities like reviews inspections and walkthroughs so in reviews there are two types of reviews the team will perform that is a formal review or an informal review and the formal review is the review that happens with the help of the customer team so here the development team they provide the material or the report to the team which is provided by the client team they perform the process of verification and they will give go or no go decision to enter into the next step of software development so here they review the software requirements software design and software critical design and this helps to answer the question are we building the product right so this processes will occur in the every stage of the development cycle and another thing is informal review informal review here the developer he chooses a particular team and he will submit the material in the form of handwritten notes or some sample uh, documentation so this review panel contains the members from his team and he will just submit this in the form of a small document and another activity performs in the verification is inspection and walkthrough so here in the inspection and walkthrough line by line code validation will occur to identify the issues in the development phase and here the examination of product will occur so it contains the verification from the co-developers or from the co-testers and within the same team members okay so this is all about the verification stage and it is a static process and coming to the validation validation is the process of ensuring that software being developed will satisfy the user needs so this process always helps to verify i will building the right product so this is totally the validating the customer needs so the requirement which you got from the customer so are we building the right product that is matching to the product or not here in the validation phase activity is happened once the development activity is completed and it occurs after the development phase and here the activities can be tested by using the techniques like black box testing white box testing or both the ways with the help of gray box testing and here it is kind of validating the test cases according to the test plan so here and the functional and non-functional requirements are verified with the help of functional and non-functional test cases so mainly with the functional test cases we'll 
verify and validate the software is according to the fractional requirements or not and with the help of non fractional test cases we verify and validate whether the performance standards are met according to the requirements so this way it helps to answer the question are we building the right product so here once we perform the test activities we get the artifacts like rtm test scripts test case uh, reports etc whereas in the verification phase so we'll have the documents like test plan test design etc we'll see some more differences in the next slide so here in the verification phase this process focuses upon the process of developing and testing a software in an organization whereas in the validation the process focuses on product after development phase or during the development verification begins in the initial phase and will be always associated with all the phases of the sdlc validation appears after the coding phase so here in the verification stage qa engineers will be involved in the process of verification whereas in the validation phase test engineers will be involved in the phase of validations so at last once the verification activities are performed so we will get the answer to the question are we building the product right and whereas while doing the validation once we complete the activity we will come to conclusion with the help of the test results or the validation saying are we building right product so that's all about this verification and validation process i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and please share the video with your friends thank you